good morning my lovelies so this video is going to be a little different than what i usually post so este video está dedicado a mi ex marido and i just wanted to post this story more for my kids and to close this chapter than for anybody else so i met my kid's father in january 2016 through some mutual fans um at the time <laughs> and we started dating fairly quickly everything escalated fast by Mar by March or April I was pregnant with our first baby but that baby passed um, it would have been born January 3rd 2017 well come October um, I was pregnant with my firstborn which is Tulio so little, look at this damn daddy <laughs> But Tulio was born that following July. So we had a quick, quick, quick relationship. That was just me excited about marriage and ready to have kids. So I just started moving and fast forward, I guess. Well, come December 2017, yeah, Tulio was about six months. His dad got deported for the first time to El Salvador. Well, once he was... In El Salvador, um, actually in Louisiana with immigration, we got married. He asked me to marry him, so I went down there um, with my friend's mama and got married. Crazy shit. I don't know why I did, but I did. <laughs> so um, he was gone for probably about six months. He was in immigration for two months and then El Salvador for four months. Well, after his um, time in immigration... He came on back across, good old fashioned way, <laughs> and we continued on with our marriage. Um, I feel like that's where the decline came for us because I was ready to kind of jump all in, but he was kind of used to his, um, I guess, casual ways in our relationship. So we just kind of have different, we had different views on marriage relationship. Um, I feel like I wasn't probably supportive emotionally to him, but he wasn't um, supportive to me financially, if that makes sense. So we just kind of started going down our own different paths. Um, for our first honeymoon, uh, for our honeymoon, we celebrated it as our first anniversary, which is February 28th. So February 28th, 2019, um, I remember we went up to the mountains one day and the whole time he just kind of complained about wanting to be at work instead so I had just promised him in a year if we wasn't in a better place that we weren't going to be together well I probably got pregnant with my son Andre that April of 2019 um and after that was just kind of a snowball so that whole pregnancy was a lot of ups and downs then came January 2020, um, January 1st, it was New Year's Day. I remember I looked at him and I said, I'm done with this marriage. So it just ended kind of like that, really. Um, then I just wanted him out. He wouldn't really go. But I feel like now, with the eyes that I have now, he just didn't know where to start in regards to fixing things or moving forward. And he was always a great dad to my kids. He just didn't handle responsibilities of adulthood very well, in my opinion. But like I said, I could have been more emotionally available also because um, it's hard for me to be open emotionally. It's kind of just mm, for me. But anyway, so that whole year, I was basically talking to other guys, dating other guys. I wasn't really active with anybody. It was this one incident. <laughs> If you know, you know, but um, still no intercourse involved. But he, um, that led to a huge, look at, look at Tulio dancing, y'all. Hold on. <laughs> but that led to um, a huge falling out. It was probably August 2019 between the couple that we had actually, that had actually introduced us. Um, due to an incident of 
me and the brother in law messing around. I ain't finna shoot coach shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but anyway sorry I, I want these moments to be here for my kids to have but anyways after my falling out that august 20 20 it was i just found myself so angry <laughs> tuli <laughs> so um by that december mm -hmm. me and my ex-husband had been intimate <laughs> one time and had my little girl Ezzy. so a lot of people do find themselves thinking that the guy I go with now is her dad, but no. All three of my children belong to my ex-husband. But after that, it was just a series of me wanting to be part of them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and um, that was pretty much how it all ended. He's currently back in El Salvador. Um, he was going through his own things and I was going through mine. And I feel like we both could have put better effort into it. I tried for counseling. I tried for everything. But at the same time, um, we just, it maybe it wasn't the right time, I'd say. Probably the best way to say it. But yes, so this is to my ex-husband, Luis Alexander Anaya Trigueros. Thank you for the time we had together, for the children we had. Y'all, I'm going to cry, Lord. And yeah, so I see these memories and they're bittersweet. But at the same time, we just weren't our best people together. And you have to leave those relationships once you get to that point, you know. But it feels more like a feeling of failure. And he'll always be my family. And I'll always have love for him, even if I'm not in love with him. Look at him, y'all. He's such an asshole. <laughs> but, yeah. And I just see Tuli and him every day. So, 
that's a a nice thing to have but that this is the video for Alex this is a video for my kids and I hope one day they can watch this um and just know everything how it went down now I may do this in Spanish now <clears throat> just so he can understand it if he wants to watch it completely pero yo quería dedicar este video a ti Luis um, y por mis niños, yo quiero que ellos tienen este recuerdos del matrimonio que tenemos porque estaban pequeños, pero a lo mismo yo quiero explicar todas las cosas y cómo estaban pasando. Pero yo estaba diciendo que conocemos, well, empezamos a salir en enero 2016. Ah, no, Knock his ass out. I see, I see. I see, Dooley. I see. Oh. Pero estaba diciendo que empezamos a salir en 2016 y como las cosas estaban pasando tan rápido, bien en marzo o abril estaba embarazada con el primer bebé, Monica Nathaniel. Pero um, falleció, yo no sé si estoy diciendo eso propiamente, um, cuando yo estaba de 12 meses embarazada, uh, 12 semanas, discúlpame, embarazada. Pero venía eso el próximo octubre, o well, mismo octubre de 2016, uh, estaba embarazada con Tulio. Y viene julio, uh, él estaba aquí. Y solo estaba diciendo cómo las cosas estaban pasando tan rápido con nosotros. Y yo estaba joven y pensando en, en nubles y, y sol y matrimonio y todo eso. Pero siempre yo, yo, yo tengo que aceptar uh, las partes. De cuando estaba diciendo que no quería ser casado. Porque Luis siempre estaba, Alex estaba siempre honesto con eso. Y yo tengo que aceptar mi parte porque yo tenía, un, estaba joven, tú sabes. Pero um, después que Tulio estaba aquí, él estaba, siempre estaba un buen papá. Y solo estaba diciendo que los problemas venían de, de, de metas. No, nunca tenemos mismas metas o a veces no queremos las mismas cosas. Y eso es donde empezamos los problemas. Pero en... Diciembre de 2017, eso es cuando Alex tenía su primera deportación por El Salvador. Um, pero él estaba en Luisiana por dos meses. Y eso, 28 de febrero, es cuando él y yo uh, tenemos nos, uh, nos uh, boda allá. Eh, estaba con una jueza adentro de, de uh, La Salle Immigration Detention Center. Pero um, todavía era un bonito momento, pero viendo las cosas con mis ojos, estaba loca yo. Ya, yeah, ya yeah, estaba loca. Loca, discúlpame. Pero um, después eso, él estaba aquí otra vez este junio 2018. Yo so estaba aquí por el primer cumpleaños de Tuli. Pero eso es donde empezamos los problemas de él, uh, tratando de ganar metas juntos. Y yo solo estaba diciendo que uh, yo creo que yo no estaba allá por Alex o por usted emocionalmente. Y me siento que no estabas allá por mí con, con cosas de casa, con cuentas y todo eso. So, los dos no tenemos confianza um, en, en, lo, en la otra persona y eso es muy importante. Y tampoco tenemos amistad. Pero yo recuerdo eso Luna Miel. Uh, eres nosotros primer an aniversario, aniversario, yo no sé si estoy diciendo eso propiamente. Y recuerdo diciendo que si no podemos, um, si no estábamos mejor, yo quería ser ya separado, viene a uh, enero 2020. Pero um, ya estaba embarazada con Andre, pero eso todavía, eh, todavía sigue como yo quería. Y después Andre nació, ya estábamos separados y 
eso es donde empezar los problemas, pero después, ¿qué? ¿cuánto tiempo? Siete años, tres años juntos, dos años casados, cuatro años separados. Esas es son las cosas que, esa es la situación que tenemos juntos. Y está bien y siempre voy a ten, tener amor por Luis, pero no estoy enamorado de Luis. Y al final, este video es para mis chicos, para saben que los dos no estamos perfectos, no estábamos perfectos y nunca vamos a ser, pero la mente es crecer, chicos, um, con feliz y, y llena. Pero al final de todos, um, gracias por mis tres chicos, gracias por los años que tenemos juntos y solo quiero lo mejor por ti y tú sabes qué necesitas hacer para tener la vida que quieres y nos vemos un día en El Salvador con los chicos y suerte con todo y salud, este libro ya está cerrado, so, gracias por los recuerdos.